Yesterday it was minus two and snowing. Today it's nice, sunny, and nine degrees. So I came out here. I have my flies. I had been seeing some bug activity on the water before the snow, and so wanted to try some fly fishing. Um, I also bought worms too, so if that doesn't work, I can always switch to worms. The water is much more murky now, which actually might be good for me. So I'm going to try down by that bridge first. All right, I've got a decent sized koi on. I'm gonna try to fight him up to where there's no fence. Uh, that way's too far, so I'm gonna go this way, try to bring him under the bridge. All right, not the cleanest landing ever, but wild koi coming in at uh, 56 centimeters or 22 inches. All right, let's get this guy off the hook and back in the water. I gotta be honest, I can't cast left-handed very well. So it might still be too cool, or was too cold yesterday for many bugs to be out. So it might not be the best fly fishing day. Um, I did pull up a koi, which is good, because I really wanted one of those. And uh, some of those lines have been played with, but no hard hits, so I'm still waiting. Really glad I brought those along. I think I caught a branch. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, this one. Yeah, that is a Tenkara Brothers fly, just off the shelf. Um, this not Komono, um, Chub. What I was saying is that even Japanese Wikipedia mentions about how basically the Japanese days and two different types of Chubs here, um, in fact get mistaken for each other quite a bit, particularly in smaller waterways, because I know the Japanese days will get bigger, if it's in bigger water is close to the ocean. However, now there's more freshwater eels in Japan, which has forced them further upriver, so I guess they're smaller now. And in fact, there was a few species in Japan that they used to believe were the same one, but now they've split off into two different types. And that doesn't usually reflect in how people call them because that was in like early 2000s that they split them into different species. So, and add in that Japanese can be complicated because the names for things can vary by region. In fact, Tochigi, the prefecture I live in, has a famous court case called the Tanuki Court Case. Um, I should make a video on that sometime, actually. It's very interesting because it deals with, well, this is not what people here call it. And so the same word can mean different animals and different fish in different parts of Japan. All right, second fish on the fly. Looks like 14 centimeters, so five and a half inches. There's my setup. Actually running the exact same thing, exact same fly. All right, I'm just catching everything small today. Um, I'm sad I uh, hooked, but wasn't able to land a much bigger fish that might have been a small koi. All right, let's look at this guy. We got uh, 16, which, uh, Imperial would be six and a quarter. Once again, same fly. All right, so currently I'm at the one koi, which I caught on the uh, rod and reel, and three with the fly. So I guess if I get one more fish on the fly, I can say I got four fish. Hopefully that starts to put me ahead in the uh, fly fishing section and uh, call it a week on this uh, tournament. Or keep fishing and try to find something bigger. Finally hit a snag big enough it um, stole my fly. That's all right, I had a good time on that fly. Kind of wish I'd caught that bigger one so then I could say, hey, look at this big fish I caught. Because, um, God, I think the biggest fish I've caught on a fly is like 15 centimeters. So it would have been a personal record. Would have been cool for the tournament. It would also mean I had my five fish, four of them on the fly. So that leaves me with four fish right now. Two, maybe three species. I'm gonna look through the photos again. I think I caught a chub along with the dace. They do kind of look similar, so I'll have to pour over it a little bit and take a look. So that leaves me with maybe I'll go to a stocked pond tomorrow. Maybe I'll fish before work on Monday. I'm not sure. Anyways, I am going to the antiques market tomorrow, so I hope you enjoyed this fishing. So, please.
please like, share, subscribe. Go down to the comment section. Tell me what uh, you think of this fishing trip. Or tell me about the biggest fish that you caught on the fly. And I will see you in my next adventure.